Hello and welcome, I am the Ink Archivist, and today I'm bringing you a package all the way from Japan. So at the end of last month I decided to treat myself to a new Sailor Pro Gear Slim, and I've finally got it. And this is an exclusive to Wancher. Pensachi's been carrying the Wancher exclusives for a number of years. I'm not quite sure how or why, but I've collected quite a few and I've been enjoying them all, so I was extremely excited to get my hands on this one. It's a very lovely color. On the right is the pen, and on the left I have some small Irishizuku bottles that I decided to pick up in hopes that they would match the pen. I think Pensachi did an excellent job packaging this ink up. It felt very secure in the bubble wrap and the cardboard sleeve. I was a little nervous that the two bottles were next to each other, but it doesn't seem like there was any damage or anything. I had never gotten one of these 15 mil bottles before, and I think they're still very lovely, so <laughs> I might be tempted to start collecting them. The two colors I ended up getting were Sutsuji and Yamabuto. Yamabuto I had had a sample of a long time ago, so I was kind of hoping uh, to have an, a new impression of it, and I was hoping that one of these would match the pen, although you'll see later I swatch them out and I don't really think they do. So this pen doesn't come with a converter, you have to buy it separately. Pensachi does offer you a little um, discount off of it if you buy it with the pen, so I picked up the gold converter to match the gold trim of this pen. It's just a little bit of a bummer that it's not included. On the box you'll notice that it has a new Sailor logo, which I found very fascinating. And once I finally get this box open and show you this beautiful Wisteria Launcher pen. You'll notice when I show you the nib and the finial that it has a new logo as well. So if you didn't know, back last summer they retired the old, more intricate nib design that had the 1911 and some more scroll work on it and replaced it with this kind of more modern, sleek design. I'm quite a fan of both of them, so I don't mind either way, but I thought it was interesting because uh, it means these are new productions. And I thought they, Pensachi had just gotten their hands on some old stock from the Wantra exclusives, but apparently they're still being created today. So if you like any of these, it means they'll probably be around for a while longer. I think that the gold trim really matches that beautiful, warm toned purple excellently. Usually I'm more of a fan of silver, but on this pen I definitely like the gold. So now I'm taking a keyring uh, swatch cards that I have made up of the Tomoe River paper, and I'll quickly swatch the, those two Irishizuku inks. Again, I was trying to determine which one was closer to the pen, and uh, neither of them really are, so I decided to go with Yamabuto, which was a slightly better match than the Sutsuji, which is definitely a pink rather than a purple. Yurishizuku inks are a bit wetter than other inks, and these two have a very slight sheen to them after this ink dries. I don't think you would get that in any pen if, unless it was very broad. The pen that I picked has an extra fine nib, most of my sailors do. I prefer needle points or extra fines. So you would never get any of the kind of sheen or this doesn't really have shading, but if it did, it wouldn't come through on this either. So I'm just filling it with the uh, Yamabuto. I'll give you a bit of a writing sample with this pen, but I have acquired quite a few sailors, more than I'd like to admit, and they all write superbly out of the box, and this experience was no different. As you can see, that extra fine is extremely fine. 
Some of my sailors are a bit wetter than others, and I did find this to be a little on the wet side, but it also could be that Yamabuto, so I'll have to see with other inks how it performs, because I, <laughs> I get the impression that Yamabuto really is on even the wetter side of Iro Suzuku inks. But either way, I think you'd be happy picking up a sailor of your own if you choose to. I've certainly always had a positive experience. But with that, that's all for me, so thank you for joining and have a wonderful day. Bye!